हेलो एवरी बॉडी ओलकाम बैक टू माई चैनल टू डे उल नो अबाउट द ओम्फेलाइटिस हेयर इन दिस बेबी उइ कैन सी देयर इज एरिथेमा इडिमा एंड इन ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द अम्बिलिकल स्टाम्प देयर इज ऑल्सो रेडनेस एंड पीलिंग ऑफ द एडजॉइनिंग स्किन एंड पास डिस्चार्ज इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट नाउ How is it happened? Omphalitis is an infection of the umbilical stump which following colonization spreads to involve the adjoining abdominal wall leading to erythema, fasciitis, necrosis and septicemia. It is caused by polymicrobial microbes like Staphylococcus aureus, group A Streptococcus, Escherichia coli Klebsiella pneumoniae and Proteus mirabilis and predisposing factor includes lack of local hygiene application of noxious substances like cow dung and unsterile delivery and umbilical catheterization clinical features it may occur sporadically but epidemics may occur in hospitalized neonates now Omphalitis starts with umbilical erythema pass discharge to rapidly progress to involve the abdominal wall and at times extending up to the genitalia the infant is sick and has fever irritability lethargy poor feeding thermal instability respiratory distress shock and abdominal fullness there is also risk for embolization Abdominal complications include continuous evisceration, peritonitis, bowel obstruction, abdominal abscess, retroperitoneal abscess or liver abscess. Now, investigations. Sepsis screening, blood culture, umbilical discharge for gram stain and culture. Differential diagnosis. Differential diagnosis may be sepsis patent vitello intestinal duct umbilical granuloma and peritonitis now treatment systemic antibiotics and supportive care is the mainstay and management of necrotizing fasciitis and myonecrosis involves early and complete surgical debridement prognosis with uncomplicated omphalitis the outcome is good The mortality rate is significantly higher after the development of necrotizing fasciitis or myonecrosis. Thank you for listening to me. Please like, share and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.